Hello there guys and welcome to this new series on PHP where we'll be doing 100 PHP projects. If you'd like to show appreciation for this, hit the subscribe button and I'll be grateful. So here I have an empty folder. No, I, it actually has bootstrap in it, but the index.html has no content. I just linked it to the bootstrap. So I'm going to copy down what I need, which is an input field. And we are just going to edit this to fit the description which we need by removing unnecessary things like a small tag we're going to remove that id remove both ids for every section there is even a check me out button we are going to remove this we don't need this for this i'm going to focus mainly on php so i won't focus on styling we're just going to use bootstrap which is a front-end library there's a video a crash course on this channel but it's not that great so check it out or maybe don't check it out okay so i'm just going to change this to enter name change this email to enter the name the enter the username in this tutorial we're going to be using a form to obtain the user's data and use a method called post to obtain that data then do some calculation on it and display it back to the dom so I just have to tweak this a little bit year of birth and I'm going to change it also for the password that's going to be the enter the current year if you're getting value from this tutorial kindly subscribe because you all watch my videos but none of you subscribe that's just wrong so I can't really appreciate it if you do so once we're done with this I just need to refresh this to get some padding around the side we can put this in a container we're going to do that in a bit so as I create a div around it bootstrap would automatically handle giving it some padding on the side and the, the good thing about bootstrap is you can just copy paste it from the documentation you have or you can master classes but you can just copy paste it that's my advice full stop just copy and paste move on with life do your development so i'm just indenting this so that it can look a bit presentable even the button not really just put the button where it was put it back okay once we're done with that we need to change these values The value of the submit button has to be value submit and we have to create the names for every input we have to write a name for it so that php can actually capture that but first let's place this into the container refresh that save it let's see that yeah perfect and we need to change this to an input type text because you can see the email and its validation already in play so let's change this up change it to input type text okay and once you're done with that you have now to name them as classes but let's just grab the card that's what we used for the text that we will display back into the DOM the DOM is actually what the user sees so self-explanatory so no need to dive into more explanations for that I see it's pretty straightforward so let's cut this out things we don't need I just need this title and let's switch this width to 100% so that it can occupy the entire width but not actually fully within the class so let's put this into another container down there close it up now let's see how this looks after saving there yeah, perfect so i just need to add a little bit of of some break tags so that you can just push it down a bit okay that should be enough save that refresh boom it looks amazing so let's get to the php part so we need this to be in, in form of names so that php can actually recognize it and we can extract data 
that we receive from this input fields so i'm just going to put this to username that's camel casing by the way it's a naming convention for php you don't have to use it but i just love to use it so i'm just going to use it but you can name this any way you want but make sure you remember them because you'll have to name them the same way in the php text that you will write the php code so hopefully you'll remember that okay value submit and once we're done with that that's mostly all the html we're going to write we just have to put this an action which will be index.php the same file that we are, we are on and then the method is going to be post we are going to get into post and get in just a moment where i'll show you the difference in both but post is more secure but you can use get but i'll show you the disadvantage of using get so that's that's all the html let's get to the php that's why you're on this video so let's just check if user has submitted any data okay with that we just use if is set to see if something has been set actually set so we are going to use post and then we're going to check if the submit button has been clicked okay if that has been clicked let's test this out by echoing data submitted data submitted if not let's echo failed or something like that failed error failed what are we saying it's uh, <coughs> an error in the data submission you can spell submission right okay let's leave it that way but this will return a true so let's negate it boom data submitted calculate data submitted okay so let's it's working so let's get rid of these let's get get let's see the disadvantage get has let's change even the method down in the html to get and you'll see boom continue let's input time data year of birth let's give it 2002 current year 2020 and calculate look the data goes into the url so if this was an actual sensitive project like bank record get would expose all your records so let's get back and just use post okay boom okay so let's get rid of the echoes because we see that it works let's leave that one so right now we need to write the code for the logic that will actually calculate the age in days so let me comment that out okay so we for this we're going to create a variable called age in days and what it's actually gonna do is pass in the data that we get back from from the form which is po from the post we're going to capture the current year which is 2020 but i don't know when you'll watch this tutorial and subtract it from where where is it where is it? the bath year so minus the bath year from post the same post data fetched so we're going to pass in bath year let's just put this in a bracket so that they will be calculated first before they're actually multiplied by 365 which is the number of days in one year so let's close that up and remember the semicolon or you will regret your life as a developer make sure you always close that with a semicolon in each and every programming language which requires you to do so so once we are done with that all we have to do is display this data back in the dome so let's just make that a bit neat so let's go and inject this or i'd rather say embed this in the html which is one of the great features of php you can write your 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 php code within html tags so let's just embed this i'm going to write php tags which in sublime text you just type in php and hit tab it automatically creates that for you 
and we're going to echo out the values concatenated with some string yes con string concatenation that's a fancy word for just write some string and include some values okay like at this point we're writing username and we concatenate that with the string which is whichever username has lived or has been living or has been on the earth let's just go with has been on the earth on earth for like like, like, a, like a million there is we don't know that so we are going to pass in the value we got so concatenate that and pass in the value of aging days not a value that's a variable we created which has already calculated everything for us so just pass in aging days and then we just concatenate that and add days as a string and we can also add some emojis here to make this look nice because i love emojis who doesn't okay let's just laugh this out because this guy is really old how many days you've stayed here and i like to add a rocket a rocket and a flame thing if you're on this channel much we use this a lot so big surprise save that and you're going to get several errors but this is because the input fields are empty once you store data for the first time this is going to fix this let's just correct a typo let's correct a typo before we change that the typo not really the submission yes i said i won't change it but for the sake of this tutorial let's change it so submission okay and then maybe write the c better fortune that's my name 1994 i'm not that old either just for tutorial purposes you will never know how old i am so that's it fortune has been on this earth for 9490 days hmm? just that not many at all okay let's try some some other name so let's do mysterio it put his year of birth to 1992 I'm just going to set this to 2021 and calculate. So Mysterio has been on Earth for 10,585 days. So okay, that's it. If you got a lot of value from this, please subscribe. It just shows me your appreciation and turn on notifications so that you can get the other 99 videos that we are going to be doing on PHP that you can put on your portfolio. So that's it guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Let's try Sophia. Let's put in Sophia. But that's it. That's it. You can just close the video now. We'll just wait for the end credits. Oh, you'll see some cards.